Fox 61's Angelo Bavaro has been following this race throughout the morning since the polls opened. He joins us live from Ansonia now with a breakdown of where the race stands. Hey, Angelo. Good morning. So we are at the Mead School right now, and just a few minutes ago, Rosa Delora was here. She was meeting and greeting with supporters. She has since left to her next location at this point. But this is capping off what has been a pretty contentious campaign between these two candidates, Margaret Stryker and Rosa Delora. So now let's get into this race, talk about who these candidates are. So on one side, of course, we've got Margaret Stryker. She is a businesswoman and real estate executive from Milford who has been running a well-financed challenge with critical attack ads against Deloro. Now, this is Stryker's first run for Congress, and throughout the campaign, she has focused on issues like health care, taxes, and jobs. And she was also endorsed by the Connecticut Fraternal Order of Police, as well as the Independent Party. Now, on the other side of this race, of course, we have Congresswoman Rosa Deloro, who was first elected to the U.S. House back in 1990. And get this, she has been reelected 15 times and is Connecticut's longest actively serving Congresswoman. Now, in Congress, she serves in the Democratic leadership as the co-chair of the Democratic Steering and Policy Committee, and she is also the chair of the Labor, Health, and Human Services and Education Appropriations Subcommittee. And we did speak with both candidates this morning, and both of them say things are looking good. Here's what they had to say. Well, listen, I have my faith and trust is always in the people in the 3rd Congressional District. They know who I am. Uh, they know that I will stand and fight and fight for them. Uh, and they know that uh, that I am the, you know, grew up in a working class family and I saw my parents struggle every single day. I know what it is to work hard and I know what's right. I think what's resonating with voters certainly is working for a uh sustainable economy, jobs, uh, having access to affordable health care, quality health care, and um, safety and security of our neighborhoods and our, our families and our homes, and also, of course, having our children be able to be educated safely and securely. And also on the ballot is Green Party candidate Justin Paglino, who is a medical doctor, and some of his major positions include Medicare for All, and ranked choice voting. And as we come out live again to meet school, you can see the door right here behind me. We haven't seen any lines here at this vote, uh, polling center, but you can see people walking in again, very quick, very painless people in and out of here. That has not been the case at some other polling locations. We do know there have been lines in Milford, for example, we saw some very long lines, but things do seem to be coming down throughout the morning. And of course, you can expect election coverage all day long here on Fox 61.